Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to talk about the Kypax 38. It's been my uh, go-to bag now for a little over a year and a half. I thought I'd mention a few pros and cons about it and then we're going to dive into the features. Let's go! <laughs> this bag is very heavy duty, it's robust, it's also very simple. There's not a lot of belts and whistles on here and it's perfect for day trips and one-nighters. It's also the reason why I got this bag. One thing that I'm missing from this bag is a secondary entrance. Uh, right now you can only get in here from the top. Uh, I would like to have an entrance down here. If you go one size up, the 58 liter, you have the opening here. So if that's for you, then that's the bag that you should get. All right, let's look into the features. Yep. Starting with the front of the pack, you have a hip belt here. Comes with uh, one pocket on either side. Sometimes they can be a little bit small. You would like to have maybe uh, some sort of stretch material here so you can just uh, tuck all your things in there. There's also a strap up here on the chest. There's a little whistle here as well. On either side here you have a bigger pocket for uh, water bottles and so on. It can be a little bit fiddly sometimes to get the water in and out. You have a lot of gear on. Um, yeah, as you can see, but yeah, you can do it. The straps are adjustable from down here and also up here so you can control how close you want the bag to be on your back. The top lid is a perfect place to store all your essentials. It's uh, adjusted here by the straps on the back. There's that big pocket here on the top. You can open up and it's pretty roomy. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. Uh, there's not a, uh, any bungee cord or anything like that on the top here, so you cannot put your jacket or anything like that on top of here. Could be good to know. If you open it up, you have a smaller pocket here with where you can fit like a passport and things that you don't want to anybody else to know that you have there. Beneath that is a pretty long strap where you can uh, connect bulkier items if you're going on the one-nighter, if you want to keep a tent or a sleeping bag up here, that's a perfect place to keep that. Continuing down, we have the uh, snow lock here as well. You can just tighten that up and keep all the snow and things, debris and things like that coming out of the woods that you don't want to have down in your bag. On the back of the bag here you have I, what I think is one of the best features of this bag. A really roomy outer zip pocket where you can just, I, I don't know, I have so much things in here where you can just tuck everything in that you use on a daily basis and you just want to be able to get too easy. On the sides here you have two compression straps so you can keep the bag really tight and snug. At the bottom of the bag here you have one small loop and there's also the ability to pull up uh, a bigger loop if you want to connect walking sticks or a snow axe or anything like that. In the main compartment here you can find a pocket for your hydration system which is neat to have and then there you can connect the uh, the hose up here and there's an entrance or an exit whatever you want to see it like right here on the other side so you can connect it to the shoulder straps. you're able to use the 38 liter model as carry-on luggage when you're flying so that could be good to know uh, right so this has been the review of the Kitepack 38 liter model I hope you guys liked it if you have any questions or comments let me know in here down below uh, subscribe like please um, and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one take care everybody I think they got it there yeah <laughs>